Hey everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life. So Super Mario Maker 2 aside, it's been over 3,650 days since a mainline 2D Super Mario game has released. But Nintendo's finally changing that this year in the year 2023 with Super Mario Wonder. And I very thankfully got to go hands on with it. So to grill me all about it and ask me if I liked it or not, I'm joined by the absolutely lovely person he is, Alex Olney. Did you like it? Uh, we're also joined today by the fantastic Mr. Felix. Sion, you didn't answer his question. Did you like it? <laughs> well, why don't you just sit down and we'll talk about it. Very thankfully, they let us go hands-on with the game uh, multiplayer. So there were there were four of us. I was joined by Alan and Austin ah. uh, and my partner Fallon. All four of us got to play it. And it was quite chaotic. Uh, as I, you can probably imagine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they've taken out the the element um, where you, you jump on each other from like su the new Super Mario Bros. series, which I knew you I knew you guys knew that already. But but for the audience, that's not a thing anymore. So it it kind of helps the flow a bit better. Round of applause for that decision, I think. Round of applause. You're right. Very, very glad they did that. Yeah. Although that feature was fun to an extent in the new Super Mario Bros. Uh, on Wii, like throwing your friends around, it got... It disrupted the flow in the end, and I think that's a really good decision not to have that. It, it, it was fun for a bit, and then it was just like, oh, can you stop running into me, you know? <laughs> and then I went back on the final day of Nintendo Live, and there actually wasn't a line to play the game anymore, so I actually got to jump straight in, and they actually let me play it single player for like another 20 or 25 minutes. So technically I've played, I've played the game a lot now at this point. And, uh, and I had a lot more fun playing it by myself. Mm. So maybe I'm just not a multiplayer platformer guy. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it, was, it was a good time. It was a very good time. How does the movement feel, Sion? Cause that was going to be my question. <laughs> Felix, stop nicking my ideas. Say it together now. One, two, Where three. Where do babies come from? That wasn't the question Alex. I was expecting. <laughs> it feels... It feels really smooth. I normally I'm the kind of like I'm, I'm glad you brought this up because one thing that I always consider when playing Mario games is that it's not Donkey Kong Country, and I just I'm, I'm just a big <laughs> fan of that that style like the, the how you can kind of like turn you can quick turn and run back in another direction you can roll and you can hold another button to run a bit faster. I, I know Mario has a lot of those same kind of um, elements but it just it it they just they feel very distinctly different um but with yeah. mario wonder i didn't have any complaints i felt very happy with with the the speed that you were able to move and the the height um and and the, the one thing that i guess really kind of allows you to change all this up and tweak it however you like and maybe even make it feel like a donkey kong country game at some point are the badges uh, which you can equip right before you start a level yeah um, and you can only from what i saw and maybe the director already spilled this information out anyways but you can only have one equipped yes but you can you can change it right before a level so you you know it's not like a the super confusing menu that you might have to spend a lot of time with or something it's just it's very quick in and out it's very nice and does each player have their own badge? From what I saw, I think you all share the same badge. Uh, uh, okay. I mean, it would be completely broken if you could mix it up. But I like the idea of completely breaking a game. <laughs> I suppose you're right. You have no idea, like, how far, right? I guess you could take something, if so. But that's that's the point of Tears of the Kingdom, right? Is, like, being able to break the game in 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 fun wild ways but yeah what's the um 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 It'd be really unfortunate if Mario Wonder happened to break just like our recording did. So I guess maybe it's a good thing that you can only equip one badge at a time. Uh, but the badges are really fun. Like one of the ones that I, I didn't realize was a badge is the, the how you pull your hat like off your head and use it kind of like a like a parachute or a glider. Yeah, yeah that is it's so fun. Yeah, we thought it was going to be like, oh, you can only do it at certain points. But no, it, it seems I mean, when, when you sort of take a step back and think about it, especially like the vine one, the grapple for from uh, Halo Infinite. Oh yeah, that, I didn't get to use that so one at broken. all. <laughs> oh, I was going to ask about that. So, Sion, which areas did you get to to play? Ooh, uh, that is a good question. I can say that I played like two kind of like grassy plain style levels, and then there was an underground cave. So we got to use like the drill hat. Oh. Uh, we got to use the the elephant ability, uh, and then there was a level with where we got to ride. Oh my gosh, my favorite level um, was this level where it was like a grassy plain one, and you got to ride on these like bulls that were running through the level. And you didn't at first you didn't really realize that you you got to ride on them. Like the beginning kind of implemented them as an enemy that you were supposed to stay away from. 
them. But then mm -hmm. uh, a bit, a bit like further into the level, you realize that you could actually use them to break blocks in the level. So they became kind of like a companion or like they were a part of this puzzle now. Oh. That, that's quite... That's quite uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, isn't it? In a way that it, it evolves a mechanic. And it wasn't the sense that you couldn't like sit on them and control them. You kind of, you could stand on them and if they ran off the map or if they ran into a wall, it would all be up to them. You know, you lose control once you're standing on them. Mm -hmm. But then later in the level as well, a pack, I think you, you have to get a wonder seed, I think for this to happen, but then a pack of them mm -hmm. will just like fly completely by you. Whoa. But the, the pack of bulls actually will destroy the flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we saw that in like the first trailer, didn't we? You, you see all the, the the stuff that happens with the Wonder Seed. I can't remember if you see they break the the flag, but still really really cool. Yeah, it's like a massive line of them, and they they'll like jump up in the air, and you have to like ride them like a wave almost. And there's like the little purple. I, I know they're yeah. not coins, but you have to you can collect those on the, on the route. Oh, and, flower coins. Yeah, and, and and then you know they'll take you to a new flagpole, and then if you do that, that actually earns you an extra wonder seed. Um, versus just completing the level standardly. Oh, that's, that sounds so cool. Yeah, there's like alternate ways to complete certain levels. And that, that level was the one that really like blew me away and made me realize like this is, this isn't just another like Mario no. Bros. 4 or something like that. This really, they're really just yeah. doing a lot of fun stuff to make this game, to make it, to make it special and different. Did you get to do the perspective shift at all? Oh. Where you start running on the walls? Mm, I don't think I, I don't think I did. Yeah. But if I did, I'll th we'll throw some of that in, in the video. <laughs> That's one of the things I'm most excited for, seeing all the different wonder effects. And I have another question. Are each wonder effect, do they feel like different or are some of the levels kind of the same? Because I think one of the things I'm most concerned about with the Mario game is uh, with the new Super Mario Bros. games, a lot of the levels felt the same. And it's a thing that I hope they've taken inspiration from Donkey Kong. I've played Tropical Freeze and every level just feels so distinctly different. They have, a, they have like some new visual thing, maybe their silhouettes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, how does, how does it feel in this game? Well, I guess I got to play, I'm thinking four or five levels and then one badge challenge level, I think it was. And mm -hmm. all of them, I think, do have their own hooks but you know since i played such a small amount of levels i'm not sure how often they're going to kind of reuse that um the, like the background templates and, and whatnot um but the, mm -hmm. the two grassy plane levels that i played were completely different where the first one you got the the elephant ability and you had to you know you you got to go up to a water fountain and fill your trunk and and water different uh, elements to to make them grow and, and change the level and then and then that second one was all themed around the the riding of the bulls so i'm hoping that more levels will have different themes but yeah it was it, it, so far no, the levels didn't feel you know boring or the same Wowie um, and there was a weird thing too where um one of the, the the person that was running the demo with me was trying to describe this this secret level that that appeared in the uh in kind of the first like hub world where you get to like kind of roam around like in mario 3d 3d world that like a, a special golden level will appear huh? and eventually like they they were like talking back and forth with other people that were running the demos and it was really fun trying to kind of like figure out how to make this thing happen um, and it turns out once you lose all your lives and you die you like you die on zero lives and you have to restart when you come back this this golden level will appear where you can go and collect a bunch of coins and collect a bunch of the um huh. the like purple ah, flower coins it's sort of like build your stock back up yeah and then it disappears you know and maybe it'll come back again but uh yeah that was kind of a fun a fun little thing that was just you know not it's not visible on the map it just uh it just uh, t it takes some time and uh, and you can go to it mm. if you want did you um did you ever get like uh in some of the games they've had like the p wing and stuff like that, which just allows you to essentially skip a level. Mm. Uh, it, it's been, it's, it, I mean, it's taken on various different forms, like the like special, to, like the white Tanuki suit or whatever it was from 3D World. I can't quite remember. Um, did you get anything like that? Because, I, I mean, I don't like the idea of it personally, but only because I feel like the game is uh, telling me I'm terrible at the game. I'm well aware that it's useful for some people. I didn't notice anything like that when we were playing. Um, the, f the further levels were also like blocked off. Uh, I think it, to pr progress in the game, you need to have a certain amount of wonder seeds. Like that, that is. And I, I'm apologize yeah. if I'm over explaining things that you guys already know, but but yeah, that's that's going to be like the main collectible to you know gate progress. Um, and one of the one of the routes that we could have taken. Well, actually, by the way, there were two different routes that we could take. 
um, from that that main hub world as well. So oh. I don't know if one of the paths was going to take you to like a small area, or if they really are just like a just alternate routes to get to the same destination. Oh, a bit like Mario World. It, it, it might be. Uh, one, one of them was restricted by like 999 wonder seeds so we were never gonna oh, go shit. yeah I think it was like that, that might that might just be for the demo yeah I, I, th I think you're right but it was, it was fun that like the developers were just like no nope, we're no matter what you're not getting through there today on this demo yeah um, and then the other one there was like a giant boulder in the way and there was one of the toad like characters there that was just kind of like oh it's oh, a pop oh, is that what they're called? Uh, I, I'm not as confident as I was when I first said it. <laughs> well, I'm just going to leave that in your hands. I'm a professional poplin. I have a burning question, Sion. Yeah, please. The talking flowers, were they annoying? You know, so the weird thing about the flowers is that they are there are a lot of them um yeah they do talk only when you run by them what, what a democratic uh, response so far <laughs> and i th i thought that they were really cute and funny and i i love the fact that they were there kind of to add some lore to the game when i was originally like when i saw the first trailer um but then playing the game they they are, they do kind of get a, a little annoying and grating like you it's it's almost like it just it just disrupts it disrupts your your flow, uh, but but there are there were moments where you know uh, like there maybe there was a moment where you know um, uh, like there's a close call where like there's there's like a, a a bull like you're riding on a bull or something and it, it it falls off a ledge or something and you you have to jump off so you don't die. Maybe there will be a flower planted there to be like, whew, can't believe you made it. And so there, there's there's kind of fun little elements where. The, sometimes the flowers do their job well, and sometimes they're overused. Um, but you guys were telling me there's something special about the flowers that you could do. You have a power, right? You can turn them off. <laughs> oh, Whoa! Sweet. It's so important. A lot of Nintendo games have too little options. So it's really nice that a stuff like that, that could really... I mean, that could, it's like the badges in... Mario Party superstars. I absolutely, I don't like them and they can get so annoying, but you can't really turn them off. So when you play with your friends, they're all just spamming the badges and they're all over the screen. I would love to be able to turn that off. And I was imagining that it could be really annoying with the flowers. So really stoked that that's the, like, you could just turn them off. Oh, I'm so pleased. One of the big takeaways though, that I did want to mention are just the, the animations. Yes. Oh yeah. Right. Like how, how expressive the characters are. Uh, but when I first jumped in and was playing that, that single player bit by myself, I really took that first level in just really slow and, and easy, which is not the gameplay you're going to see on screen here. I think I, I played it again and just kind of sped through it. <laughs> um, but you could see like a, a small little uh, duo of Goombas kind of sleeping side by side, snoozing away. Aww. And I, I was curious, like, oh, if I get too close or if I jump near them, are they going to wake up? And they, they don't. Um, but you can still you can still knock them out while they're sleeping. And all the levels and characters have so many extra little bits of detail that you didn't really get in the the new super mario bros series of games no. and that's why i didn't like those i just they felt so i don't want to say copy paste they're all yeah did you guys feel similarly like especially in comparison to what you've seen of wonder oh yeah yeah well i mean <laughs> i grew up with those games so to me they are like especially <laughs> ds new super mario Bros. ds and Wii. those games are very very close to me i i I don't know. I, that's nostalgia speaking. I really like those games, but seeing this, it looks so much better, especially when you go back and compare. It's not even funny how much better the animations and it just has personality. Mm, my eyes are having a good time right now looking at the footage. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking on that note too, I don't know if the game was running on, like, I don't know if we were playing on OLED TVs or not, but there definitely was a moment early on when we were, when I first played the game where I was like, is this really running on the Switch? Yeah. Like, there are moments where, like, when I think it's when you get a Wonder Seed, where the graphics kind of, like, the resolution almost drops in, like, certain areas, or maybe it's across the board. I'm not sure. But otherwise, the game just is so visually striking, and there's so much going on that, you know, it's, it's just really nice to see this running on Switch. And obviously, Nintendo knows their hardware better than anybody else. Uh, it's... It's cool, and it makes me excited to see like, what what is the future switch? W whenever we get that, what is this game gonna look like on there? Because just they, what kind of games can Nintendo make with better hardware? Yeah, is that what you mean? Exactly, because mm. I think there are times, especially with sports games, right? We always know that like, or for a while it was like in the PS3 era. Oh, look, you can you can see your character sweat in real time, and like you know, like, yeah. or they <laughs> they mocap them differently. And I think in certain genres, we've we've come to a point where 
the graphics have just sort of plateaued. And I know I'm going to eat, eat those words in another 10 years, but <laughs> with Mario Wonder, it, uh, it just, it's, it's, it's shocking and surprising how, um, how, how unique they've made this game look wow. so far. Just hearing you talk about it, I, I was excited for the game, but they can make it look really good in trailers and stuff, but hearing an, uh, you actually having your hands on it and it just sounds like everything we've been wanting. So um, yeah, I'm I'm jealous you got to try it out, but also really excited for when we get our hands on it. But thankfully, we don't all have to wait very long to play it as <laughs> Super Mario Wonder is coming out on October 20th. Ooh. And yeah, there isn't going to be the simultaneous multiplayer that maybe we would have wanted, but the Shadow mode sounds kind of fun but let us know in the comments down below how much you're looking forward to super mario bros wonder if uh, you're planning on picking it up on launch or if uh, you're like yeah nah, this game's too cute not for me <laughs> I, I doubt anyone's gonna say that but uh but there's probably one person out there that wishes it was more like starfield or something and of course if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this then why don't you go ahead and uh, pop a wonder seed in your mouth and then hit that subscribe button but only once even if the subscribe button tries to tell you that you should hit it again don't believe it <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and thank Thank you, Alex and Felix, for joining me for this chat. I look forward to playing this game with you guys in person someday. Yes, same. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. Stay safe out there, and we will see you all next time. How'd you get to the end of the... I can't do the flower voice. I wonder what a wonder seed tastes like.